We can actually make these two circles spin with just our mind. All you need to do is stare at the black dot and then move your head close and far away from your screen over and over again. If you do this, the circles will then start to spin. That was just one of the really cool optical illusions and puzzles I'm gonna show you in this video. But make sure you watch the video until the end to see a trick where I will show your birthday in this video. Like the video and subscribe in the next 5 seconds or this spider will be in your bed tonight. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures here? Comment what the difference is if you see it. Alright, so the difference was that the ring on her finger is missing in the picture on the left. If you saw this, you have really good eyes. So right now, it looks like some people are standing in the rain, but if you squint your eyes, it should actually reveal a secret word. Comment what the word is if you see it. Alright, so if you squinted your eyes, it should have revealed the word puzzle. Next, I'm going to show you this really cool illusion where we can make this ferris wheel spin any way that you want. So if you focus on this side of the ferris wheel, it will actually start spinning towards the right. But then if you focus on this side here, it will start spinning towards the left. Try and see if you can change the direction it's spinning. There are two animals in this photo here. Are you able to see them both? Comment what the animals are if you see it as well. Alright, so the first animal is a cat, but now if we flip the picture upside down, it actually changes into a dog. We can make this light on your screen appear brighter or even darker. In order for this to work, I need you to move your head close to your screen and the light will get brighter. But now move your head away from your screen and it will get less bright. Try it out and see if it works for you. Next, I'm going to try and read your mind. First, I need you to answer some easy questions for me. What is 1 plus 1? What is 2 plus 2? What is 4 plus 4? What is 8 plus 8? Now, name a vegetable. Alright, so did you just say carrot? Let me know in the comments if I just guessed what vegetable you were thinking of. When we put these two emojis together, they make up a word. Can you figure out what word it makes though? Comment what you think the answer is as well. Alright, so the first emoji is the sun and the second emoji is a flower. So together this makes the word sunflower. There's something wrong with this picture here, but only people with the best eyesight will be able to spot it. Comment what's wrong with the photo if you see it. Alright, so if you look closely, the guys in the background all have the exact same face. If you saw this, it means you have superhuman vision. We can actually make this man face any way that you want. Focus on the nose here and he will look towards the side. But now focus on his eye over here and he will start facing towards us. Try it out and see if it works for you. I bet you can't pause the video at the perfect time so that all three cookies land in their outlines. I tried this for hours and wasn't able to do it, so let's see if you can. Can you spot the mistake in this picture here? Comment what the mistake is if you're able to find it. Alright, so the mistake in this picture is actually that the word spot is repeated. Did you see this or was it too hard? This optical illusion here is really confusing. How many bars are in this photo? If we count them from the left, there are four of them. But if we count them from the right, there are only three. Look at this very carefully and then let me know in the comments how many bars you think there are. There's a butterfly somewhere in this photo, but only people with superhuman vision will be able to find it. Let's see if you can spot it. Alright, so the butterfly was actually right here on this rock. If you found it, I'm very impressed. Let's see if you're able to follow the green ball with your eyes. Only a real genius will be able to do this. 
All right, we're almost done. All right, so the green ball was right here. Did you follow it? Only the smartest people in the whole world will be able to read what this sentence says. Try focusing really hard and see if you're able to read it. If you can read it, comment what it says as well. I'm gonna heart all of the comments who read it correctly. All of these birds are different, but two of them are the exact same. Are you able to tell me which two number birds are the exact same though? Comment what you think the answer is. Alright, the two birds that were the same were birds number 4 and 11. Right now, we have a thumbprint on our screen, but I've actually hidden something inside of it. In order to reveal it, all you have to do is squint your eyes. If you do see what I hid inside it, comment below what it is. Alright, so there's actually a dog hidden inside of the thumbprint. Next, I've got a riddle that only geniuses can solve. What weighs more? Is it 1,000 pounds of bricks or 1,000 pounds of feathers? Comment what you think the answer is. Alright, so the truth is they both weigh the exact same amount, which is 1,000 pounds. Next, let's get into the part of the video that we've all been waiting for where I will show your birthday in this video. Before we get started, you need to get a calculator for this to work. So pause the video right now and get one if you need to. Also, make sure you press the equals button on your calculator after every step I tell you, otherwise this won't work. Let's get into it. First, I want you to multiply the number month you were born by 7. I've got a table on screen, so find your month and multiply it by 7. Now subtract 1. Now multiply your number by 13. Now I want you to add the day of your birth onto your number. Now add 3 onto the number. Now multiply your number by 11. Now subtract the month you were born from the number. Now subtract the day you were born from the number. Now divide the number by 10. Now add 11 onto your number. Now divide your number by 100. Alright, now you should have two numbers left on your calculator. The first number should be the month you were born and the second number should be the day you were born.